So, um, hi, I'm Zios Pantera. Welcome to Z Reviews. And while I usually review audio gear and uh, lots of lots of audio gear and the audio gear and occasionally every day, um, phone. Thank you for turning on phone. So a company named Doogie or Doggy, I don't know. You you decide based on wallpaper. It's D double O G double E. Doogie. And I'm like, they were like, hey, we want to send you a phone. And I don't usually say yes to phones, but I got to get you hooked in the first 30 seconds of this video. And by doing that, I'm going to literally turn this one on, unlock it, wait for that to load, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, thermal camera. Okay, all right, we're going to get to the thermal. Look at my, look at my fucking Sony phone. It's on fire. Look, look, the other doogie. It's been on for 20 minutes, nice and cold. Sony phone, fire. Lights, fire. Look over there, just all the things that are hot. Except the transformer for the my hands. Oh, God. All right, so anyway, we're going to get to the, um, the S98 Pro and the S98 in a second. But first, let's talk about our sponsor for today's video. Hard Audio Cables, who from the visual of this the review until June 17th, I believe... Check the description, I'll have the date. Um, is having a sale, 10% off with a special code, which is written next to it, and I don't remember offhand, but if you don't know who Hard Audio Cable is, they make custom headphone cables. They don't make RCAs, they make headphone and IEM cables, actually. They make fabric IEM cables that you can get in multiple colors, multiple styles, with multiple heads, and the best part is, if you get their series um, with a universal bottom, you can get any set like this. Actually, I have the page open. Hold on, let's see if it opened up. Lou, Lou, Lou. Yeah, there's boutique uh, cables that are pre-made with already ends on them and you don't swap them. And then you can go to the multi-kit where you can get just a plethora of anywhere from a very super affordable $39 for a set with a four pin XLR, a 4.4 Pentacon, a three and a half with an adapter. It's three, perfect, 40 bucks, done. Or you can go up to the, to the crazy $85 and $90 sets where you can get literally any 2.5s and then you just take these, plug them into your amps and then get a couple different cables for the different headphones you have and you are all set. So Hart has been providing with me, me cables for years and they're gonna give you a 10% coupon. So check that out in the description below. Um, before June 18th or 17th. It's one of those days in June 2022. If you're watching this in 2025, that, that shit's over while you're here. Um, maybe because you just wanted to buy a new phone. So, <clears throat> several things. This is my phone. My actual, like, hey, Zios, what's your phone phone? What's your phone phone? That is the exact same 21 by 9 aspect ratio as your review monitor, your NEC. People always ask, so I'll just say it. It's an NEC EA294WMI. Rolls off the tongue. That's my 21 by 9, well, now it's 9 by 21 monitor. I paid $700 for it. And that was the second or third thing that got me on the kick to ultrawides. So when it came time to buy my own phone, when Sony came out with the Xperia 1 Mark III, I threw $1,400 at it. And I like this phone. I can't say the word love. I can't because if you watch my review in it, it's basically different from all the other reviews because I'm like, yeah, it's great at like these things. And I said that for 60 seconds. Then I sp proceeded to spend 50 minutes complaining about the problems with this phone. And while these doogies, doogies, do do doges are not perfect by any means. They have very interesting things going for them, and I'm probably nearly 100% certain I'm getting a SIM card for the 98 Pro. And you might find the 98 in the yard sale, although the 98's only $400. No, I'm sorry, I lied to you. It's $300. It doesn't even make sense when I say it out loud. So here, here, we've got the, the Doogie S98, which is $300 on Android 12 with an eight gigs of RAM and a 256 internal memory. And it has no infrared camera, but it has the night vision we'll have to talk about. And this has a screen in the back, which I have to enable through, let's see the fingerprint readers on the side here. Right, we're gonna get back to it. Stop popping things up at me. 
Doogie Mall, by the way. So, oh, pre YouTube Premium. Want to keep playing your videos? No thanks. I'm watching my yard sale video. Um, I should probably shut this light off so we don't get massive reflections. If the remote control would listen to me. There you go. So. Let's minimize this. Let me go into display. So we're gonna look at the, the SA98 Pro, which is this one, which has the infrared camera in the back and then two other cameras here, versus the SA, the uh, the 98, the S98, which has three cameras and the flash, and then this thing in the center, which you're looking at and going, what the hell is that? And let me see, where is it? Uh, that's a rear screen. Adaptive brightness, brightness level, bring that up. That might be in the advanced thing. Um, because I don't, I haven't done full login on this to get all sorts of apps for it. Because I, I do want to eventually sell this in the in the yard sale. Rear display, there we go. So use rear display, yes. Double tap to wake, yes. Flip to wake, yes. Rear display theme. So here's what the back of this looks like, if you see it here. And if we get this to turn on, we can do, oh, they got a clockwork one. Oh, I'm going to apply that. Apply it successfully. Then you have it in call. You gotta have different things for when you're in a phone call. Oh, look, there we go. So you actually have a screen, a round, not like a square screen where they're cutting out. That's fucking round. That is a touch screen, and you could swipe up and down on it and use it to initiate mute. I have to mute my phone. Ugh. Oh, my brother's sending videos. Um, yeah, so you have an actual like watch face, like a smartwatch screen face on the back of the S98. You don't get the infrared camera, which is a, a more expensive option, but um, when we talk about what I would actually use it for. So this phone with the, basically, the double tap, there you go, your screen. Uh, down is nothing, left and right is nothing, up is media player, and that's basically it until there's more mods. But you can just leave your phone down and know the time. Now, that's $300. If you want the one that I'm going to end up using and keeping, uh, the, the S98 Pro with the infrared camera is $459. So $460. So for a, considering I've used like a bunch of Android portable dApps and they're all around $800 and they don't even come with Android 12. But all right, I don't want this to be a long video because this is way, way, way out of my comfort zone. Close that, close that. These things are heavy as fuck. Like heavy. They're, they're designed not just like as a phone. The reason I said yes to the review is because they were rugged, like drop, like I could just drop. Oh fuck it, I'll drop this one. This is, this is the 98. This is the one that I'm gonna end up keeping because the bunny girl's on it. You could just be like, oh shit. Did that fall? Oh, it doesn't matter. Because it's, you pick this phone up and you are conscious of its weight. Uh, I think it weighs 50% more than my Sony phone in a case. And this is without a case. There's no case on this right now. It looks like there's a case, but this is all rubber around here. This is built onto the phone. And this is all metal, all metal. Metal buttons, metal drawer for the cards. It has dual SIM cards. Um, it's got your touch control here. It's got your power button, your volume rocker there. There's also a custom button here, which on this particular one, which I've set up, so if we unlock it with my fingerprint, if we minimize that, you press it once, it loads Telegram. Oh, there's an update available for, uh, I use Plus Messenger, by the way. And you don't get it off the Google Play Store. You get it off of App Center so that you get it side loaded on and updates much faster and there's not that limitation that Android put on where you can't get to the files it's downloading. It's very, very stupid. So we go to the Twitch fam. All right, back to the reasons you're gonna want this phone. Well, which one is this? All right, either way, these phones are basically built identically except for the one has a screen, one has an infrared, but all the other buttons and controls and batteries are all the same. So you're paying $300 for the base phone and $460 for the Pro version with the infrared camera. Is it worth it? Yes. We'll get to the infrared camera. Look at the time jumps. We'll get to an entire fucking section about the infrared camera. What we're going to talk about first, because it's more near and dear to my fucking heart, is battery life. Eternal. I took this out of the packaging when it arrived. I did the unboxing. 
um, it was at like 88% because you don't ship, you don't store a lithium polymer battery at 100. You shouldn't leave it at zero and you should leave it at 100. You want it to like hover somewhere between like 60 to 80%, somewhere around there, so it's just comfortable. I turned it on. I didn't charge it all the way fully. I usually get a device to charge it fully. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm just gonna get it. I'm gonna. I'll just. I'll set up my account. And, oh my god. And oh, look, the night vision camera. Oh my god. This is the, and I used it for 12 straight hours, and it dropped to about 48 percent. This Sony phone, if I'm charging it in bed to 80, because you got to keep it on battery saver mode. The Sony uh, Xperia One, I have the tr plugged in all night. And I have it set to not charge past 80 because I want to preserve whatever little battery life this has. By the time I've had my morning constitution, maybe made breakfast, and go to sit down at this desk two, three hours later, just randomly check my phone, it's at 40%. For three hours of light usage, like not like, oh, I'm watching videos on it. I barely watch videos on my phone. And this battery fucking dies. It gets overheated. It has problems. The Sony is a great phone to look at. It's super smooth, 4K screen, 120 hertz, battery murderer. This, by contrast, um, doesn't give a shit. I have it set to show me. It's at 55%. We're going to use this the entirety of this uh, review. We're, I'll, I'll probably end up turning the camera off and moving around the house with it, but we're at 55% on this battery. And on the S... Where is this one going? You should remember, oh, wait, does this remember my thumbprint? It only has one finger learned. It's the right thumb. Don't cut off my right thumb. This one's at 76. So you could tell them apart because one has got a cute bunny girl and one doesn't. So we're at 55. Um, pros. We'll just get the pros out of the way because I, I actually think people are going to buy this phone. Even if you don't use it as a phone. Like, there was not a chance in hell I was going to sell this thing in a yard sale. That one, uh, you know, it's a it's a decent $300 phone. Battery eternal. But if I can get one with an infrared camera on the back. My friend Dan, the IT man, uh, YouTube channel linked in the description, has a FLIR camera. The big one. He got it off a job site that the guy was like, here, hold on to this because I owe you money, blah, 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 blah. Then that guy, like, disappeared. It's like a $6,000 FLIR and it's a, it's a handheld grip. You want with a little tiny screen. And you can point it at something. And you click the button and it like reads. And it like shows it to you. And I'm like, that's so fucking cool. This is $460 and does a better job. Than a, than a like five-year-old $6,000 Fleer. It's insane for that reason alone. Well, I keep wanting to talk about the infrared. Infrared camera. The, but we're going to get to it. First, the battery life. 55%. No, it's not gone down a fucking lick. All right, I have to make my phone mute now, which we're going to do that by doing Do Not Disturb for an hour. This should be over in an hour. I love having the ability to use all the wallpapers I've ever used there in the description. By the way, if you ever want all my wallpapers that I've ever used, um, I'm no longer linking directly to Imgur because of fucking YouTube reasons. But uh, you can use the link there to go to a Resilio Sync Horde and get every wallpaper I've ever used ever. And as I change them, I turned this doggy wallpaper on 20 minutes ago. Everyone in the Resilio Sync Horde has it already. Be like them. Be a hoarder. Um, I think I should still have this set to 10 minutes. So it comes installed with Android 12. It isn't as fast as a Sony. The only phones I have to compare against are my OG Motorola Z2 Force which had those big battery packs you could pop in the back of it, and that was how I dealt with battery life on my previous phone. Now this is just nightmarish, and I have to like plug it in anytime I sit. Like I'm going on a trip, charge it to 100, tell it to charge to 100, put it in stamina mode, pray. That's why I'm gonna get a SIM card for this phone. Because if I could have a backup phone with actual internet out there that I know for a fucking fact is not gonna be dead in 12, 16, or 20 hours, even if I'm using it, I'm going to use that fucking phone. The Sony is a dis of fucking appointment. Um, so we'll do a pros and cons thing. You could write these down if you want. Pro, battery life is forever. Forever. They come with chargers. I actually got a European charger for one and an American charger for another. They're decent chargers. They are 33 watts each. So depending on which one you get, 
Um, unfortunately, this is the one that I'd probably end up putting in the yard sale. If you sell this to Europe, it'll send this one. Actually, I don't need either of these because I have a ton of them around the house. So if I sell the S98 in the yard sale, I will send you the appropriate plug for whichever one you're going on. I love the way they package the wire, too. Look at this. Look at that. That's so clean and neat with the little... I left that one rolled up for you, and here it is out. There's not many accessories. Um, screen protectors, you probably figure, that comes with plastic screen protectors, not glass. But since, considering it's a rough, tough, you know, outdoor drop it, waterproof, by the way, waterproof phone. I took it into the shower. I had to know. I'm like, all right, this is the bravery moment because I know people with their iPhones take them in there, but I took that into the shower and I was just like holding it and scrolling through things. I'm like, um, very, very difficult once the screen is wet to actually interact with things because it thinks warm water is your finger and it's like, ha, 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 delete your whole thing. No. So just be careful if you're going to take it into the tub. It doesn't like delete your whole YouTube channel. Um, plastic screen protectors. Uh, a little bit weirdness on the screen. Can I get this back in there? Thank you. A little bit of weirdness on the screen. Uh, I do a lot of uhs when I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Note corners here. See how they're like not quite sharp, but they're a little bit rounded. They're just a little baby bit rounded on the corner. Holy fuck, where the hell is the corner? So completely weirdly rounded corners. You got the notch on top. You can tell it to not notch on top. If you wanted to, and it'll just bring the whole screen down, which is dumb. If it can notch, let notch. Uh, there is a, also an issue when you're touching the very corner. It doesn't always react correctly. If I'm, say, in... Wait, let's do the... So I press this once, we go to Plus Messenger, which we can go over to ZChats and the Twitch fam. So down here is the push to talk message thing. If I push that, hey, it's working today. How is everybody in Twitch fam? That's fine. Usually you have to bring up the keyboard, which I have installed a Swift key, so I'm able to bring the keyboard up where my thumb rests. That's also a life hack. Swift key lets you adjust the width and location of the keyboard. Even if I only see that much when I'm typing, my thumb is completely comfortable up here. Absolutely a fucking requirement on a 21 by... Look where my thumb rests on this. Can't have a keyboard down here. I'm like... Argh. So... If that, if I hit the, if I swipe off the edge, bring it down, sometimes this, like, that's not doing it at all. Yeah, it's just, uh, uh, I switched it from, oh, uh, and there it goes again. So it's a little bit tough in the corners. They're very confused, by the way. Um, apparently someone found tinks. Have you seen tinks? And there's tinks. We should probably, all right, let's stay on the screen for a minute while I get into this. Actually, no. I'm going to divert from the screen for a second. The vibrator. Don't take that out of context. The, wow. The uh, vibration motor that, like, is your haptic uh, feedback. It's real rough in the uh, doogie. It feels like a motor is spinning up. So I have I usually leave it short, like little toots, toots, toots. And on this, I had to extend it, but not too long, or else it feels like there's literally a fucking Hitachi magic wand inside of it. Like, it feels like it's... And it slows down. So I have it just like the smallest little... I can feel like the motor jerk, but it's not like a natural smooth, like click, 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 click. Because when I type, I like to have haptic feedback. So it's a little rough in this. Back to the screen again. Um, I have a flagship Sony phone. I like beautiful, high-quality, calibrated monitors. It's GDM FW900s upstairs to prove that. This is an NEC that's calibrated. My old Motorola was kind of not great. And then so once I got the Sony, I was sort of married to like, oh my God, can it look this good? The answer is yes. Can these look as good as that? The answer is no, but there's a secret. So when I got both these phones turned on and I was just playing with them, sometimes they have the, um, the color options of like natural or vibrant or something else. Fuck all those. What you do is you put on night mode, which is when it removes the blue, because these were blue fucking blue screens comparing to an actual great screen to these phones the screen was like oh god it's so bright and blue i didn't want to look at it at all so what i did was you can go into the night light mode and you can turn it on all the time 24 hours a day and then you can adjust basically the color temperature and i have it up about a third 
So whereas this is all blue and that's basically pink, you bring it up about a third, it lowers the brightness overall, but then you raise the brightness up a little bit. It doesn't affect the battery because it's just like a ratio. And the screen actually looks comparable. Not 100% accurate. Come on. Oh, I have to open a thing. Where is, that's pasta showing me picture. I can't risk it. Uh, here's Twitch fam. I have the same wallpaper set. We are, we're getting, it's close. It's kind of close. If this is still blue and this is green, I haven't gone fully into the thing. But like, if we open a picture, the Sony's still doing um, where it is detecting light and dimming it. It's, it's, oh, it's close. Actually, now this looks bluer than that. So yeah, I was able to tweak the screen on the Doogie to be not just tolerable, but like my brain can't tell it's a bad screen or a cheap screen on a cheap phone. This is a cheap phone. Under $500 for a phone that lasts, uh, we're at 54%, by the way. It's going to give you occasional uh, things with the brightness at, we're not even up. Like if we bring this up, there's something weird with the brightness. If I bring it up all the way, it then goes to screen too bright. It says that. And I, I'm like, um, how dare you? How dare you say screen too bright? Which screen gets brighter? Let's find out. Because uh, if you have drones like I do, having a bright ass screen. Oh my God, the notifications. Clear all, please. Mm, I'm going to say the Sony gets brighter. However, I am still using that trick where this has got the uh, night mode on. So I'd give it, you know, why are there different numbers on the images on the two phones in the exact same chat with the exact same images? That is super weird. This one says 2681. That one says 2792. Bambi. Bambi. Now this looks brighter for the... Look at Bambi. It was a Bambi on my lawn. Okay, so as far as the screen goes, if you can live with the annoying corners, I, I don't notice it. Like, if I was watching full screen video, because that's 20 by 9, this is 16 by 9, so you're probably going to have a little... It's lower resolution. That's 4K. This is not 4K, but it's still perfectly fucking... Re like, there's no, like... It's not, like, 720p. I think it's higher than 1080. It might be a 1440 screen. Um, where's the stickers? I have the stickers somewhere. Here. Does it tell you me the screen thing on that? No, it's somewhere on the box, I'm sure. Anyway, we'll go in. We'll go into all the depthy things uh, when you just go look to buy these things. Uh, design, build, hide. Go to first message. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. I should clear the pinned notifications. Look, it's a happy birthday pasta one. All right, so. The S98 doesn't need much more of a review other than the back doing its thing here where you can choose different modes and can it's got oh it's got cute gears that are spinning around and while that actually the gears spinning the gears are stationary the the minute hand is spinning you can control your thing and you can answer and control phone calls there's no headphone jack I should probably got that out of the way on the tour I guess I did the tour already nothing a closed <sighs> capped the only reason they can give it IP68, IP69K, and on the S98 military standard 810G is what that is. On the S98 Pro with the infrared camera, it's, it's military standard 810H. I don't know what that means. G versus H. This is G. That's H. You get a capped um, USB-C. And I honestly, I've charged these so little. Because I, I bring it up to 100% once and I'm, that's done for three days. Like, it fits its standard cable. If you have, like, a weirder, bigger cable, you might have a hard time getting it in there. But you seal that up. Boop. And now you could basically go... Like, there's an underwater photography mode in this. Like, that's that means it works underwater. And when you do that, you put it in that mode and then the buttons on top, the physical buttons, become your shutter and zoom and everything. Uh, this set of holes here... I had guessed that as uh, just drainage or for something to do with heat. Nope, it's your speaker. So if I go back into it, fingerprint reader there. Uh, what do I have here? Chrome. Thank you, Chrome. Google search, yard sales, EMF atrium. Hey, there's a gas station. Take this exit. Nah, they don't have Ultra 94. You're crazy. It's fine. The only problem with it here is if you cover it. New Ultra 94 Octane Sunoco. 
Uh, well, it's actually kind of nice. I miss being able to cover my phone because on the Sony, you have stereo speakers top and bottom, and you can't, like, in an emergency, like, oh, my God, shut the fuck up. It's pretty loud. Sweet water, by the way. I really need to get them to send me things. Skip the ad. Behold, my labors of three and a half hours. It's very... Maybe more. I don't know what time is. It's very directional where it's down firing. And if you have your palm here, that can help because it'll bounce off that part of your palm. It's not front firing. There is a speaker up here for when you're on phone calls, but not for that speaker does not work for media. So if you have it here, that's kind of good because it actually corrects it. And oh my God. Okay, so welcome to the review. It's a double review. We're but if you do this, ZMF, uh, atriums, then you literally feel something tickling your palm, but you don't hear me. The prettiest headphones ever made, but we'll get about the how they... And you can point it at you like this. If you're ever like putting this somewhere to like listen to music, just point it at you from the ass end and it sounds pretty fucking good. It's lacking a little, like the tonality is not great. But we're talking about this is a $300 phone. $300, not $3,000, not not $1,300, $300. The fact that it has a speaker that's actually audible, if not greatly audible, I, I don't want to say it's great, because if I put on a, a video or something on here, let's go, at, if you don't know about, about Plus Messenger or Telegram, you do at vid in any chat, and then you do Z reviews z review and it should bring up do not trust z reviews great that's a fucking great video if you haven't seen that one there's a guy who made a bunch of videos about everybody's a scammer literally went through the entirety of the community and said why is the waf acceptance factor one the second one atrium's the waf the audiophile best friend and then the lcd5 like this is a house tour wow so I click that, it'll then add the YouTube video, and I can click it, and it will get the sound out of my Sony. Okay, everyone. So this is the main channel. This is a video that's going to go... I can hear the stereo. Um, not the and house, you can't really block it with your pinky because it's up here up and up there. In the house because... You know that? And let's compare that to what's happening on here. If it will unlock. There we go. We're coming out of this, out of this. I have it. It could just display the things. By the way, I don't have this on my Sony. When I do that, it has multi like pop up and multi switch window. This one, when I switch apps, which is just drag up, it says there's 3.9 gigs available of the 8 gigs of RAM, and that's basically what it came with as default. There's there's a lot of RAM usage by default. There's over four gigs of RAM being used just to run Android. And I can clear all the tab, all the uh, tabs that are open, which I'm not going to. Oh, this is not the phone that has Plus Messenger installed. So remember the side button here, the uh, adjustable button. One press is Plus Messenger. Two presses is Infran View, and wait for that to load, which takes a second. We're gonna go back to this. I promise you. I, I just want to talk about the usefulness of the infrared camera. Like so fucking bad. I have. I gotta get the phone shit out of the way first before we get to the cool shit. There's such cool shit. This is worth five hundred dollars, if it's not even a phone. Um. Anyway, if we minimize that by scrolling up. If we do a triple tap. Wait. One, two, three. I got I, I can't let it. I can't. It, it's got to be like. Oh no! It's not a triple tap. It's a hold. If I hold, flashlight. Not a terrible flashlight. I think at least as good as my Sony, and the Sony's not a great flashlight. Sony, for $1,400, has the hilar most hilariously, like, oh, uh, like, ooh, like, is it even removing its shadow? This at least, yeah, this is a better flashlight than the Sony. Oh, God. I didn't have to carry around an emergency flashlight because I always had a cell phone. My Motorola has a good fucking flashlight. This Sony is a piss-poor flashlight. Good luck, like, here. Let's, 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 oh, what's that look like? Okay, yeah, I mean that's Yeah, it's it's like twice as bright. So I mean we double tap that, shut it off. This we have to actually turn off. God, it's such a terrible fucking The Sony has so many just If the Sony phone was five hundred dollars, I'd give it I'd give it some breaks. I'm gonna give these doogies a lot of breaks. You know why? They're under five hundred dollars. Close, close. Uh, we'll talk about the night vision soon. Firefox. I'm running Firefox on it. If you 
support Firefox, please. They need it. If you have never used a Firefox browser, do so and just dig through all the cool fucking add-ons. There's so many of them. Um, okay, so as a phone, this is it. This is my last talking about it as a phone in general. If you want a phone that has a very decent screen, once you tweak it using the night vision mode, well, losing the night mode, uh, slightly annoying. The, the touch surface lags a little bit, like the actual, like, it's not as snappy as a fucking $1,400 flagship Sony, but it's very usable. One of the things I had to do is I own lots of developer options. If you don't know how to do that, I haven't done it on the, uh, the S98. I've done it on the Pro. Developer options, we're on 77 here, 53% there. 50, we've lost 2%. This whole thing, I'm fucking with it. 2%. 2 You know how fucking important that would be to me? To just go somewhere and be like, did I charge my phone? Oh, it doesn't matter. There's a 6,000 or... Four. Hold on. I'm going to actually bring up things and read a little bit of specs. Because remember what I was talking about it being a phone? Yeah. Where is it? What's the fucking... 6,000 milliamp battery pack. Six, it says 6,000. I believe it. I usually don't believe when phones lie to me. It's like, yeah, you say six. I could plug this into the wall. And your light's still on, you bitch. And um, it still dies faster than the phone that I'm holding. It's hilarious. Hilarious to see how bad this battery is and how good this one is. So we're going to and unlock developer features. You go to settings. You scroll down. You go to about phone. You go to, uh, I think, the build number here. If we tap this a bunch of times. Yep. Uh, I have to put in a device pin, so give me a second. Oh, put, put the, the pin in the device so that you're probably going to end up changing that. So now I've unlocked developer options. And if we go scroll down, we go to, where are they? They're now somewhere up here. Now they're maybe back in system. Mm, yeah, developer options. So developer options, if you don't know, is the developer options of the fucking phone. If you're a web developer, you need to test your new app, blah, 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 blah. You go in here. And what I did, the only modification I did to make the phone feel snappier is the animation time can be adjusted on Android. And if you go down, you scroll down this giant list. Don't touch things you're not sure about. You could do some shit that makes your phone look broken as hell. Um, what you want to deal with is animation scale, window animation scale, transition animation scale, animated duration scale, and that's basically those three. Smallest width, of a, ignore those. And you have choices. You can shut off animations. So like, you know, you switch apps and it's like, whoop, whoop. You can make it just be like, ah, just is 100%, no animation. Um, that can get actually a little bit disorienting. So you can make it, 10 times slower or half half as long. I made it all half as long. We'll make it five times slower here just because while I'm using this phone, I want it to be fucking hilarious. And window animation scale five times slower. So now if I like pull it out, we go Chrome, it's a scroll. It's a, it's, it's, it's like your, yeah, look at that. It's like, what is, what is even up? So if everyone wanted to play with that, that's pretty cool. What I would do is I would slow it down on my fast phone because it just made everything like a little cooler and smoother. And then if I, my phone's getting on in like a year and a half, two years old, I would put it back to default. And it's like, oh my God, it's like I got a brand new phone. On these brand new phones, I basically had to do that already to make it feel a little bit snappier. So usability as a phone phone. Fine. Adjust the color on the screen. Uh, set the... Try not to blind the camera because these lights are doing a thing. And I don't review phones, so I don't know what's happening. And I can't monitor the GoPro while it's recording. Because why would anyone want to do that? I'm sorry. Have you not had the waifus for like 20 minutes? Doggy. Where was I? Jesus Christ. Okay, so. Comes with a bunch of installed stuff. Comes with a thing called Children's Space. Don't want to open that. Want to uninstall it? Uh, I would actually. I run a different uh, launcher on mine. I run Action Launcher, which allows me to have a completely blank thing, except for a little drawer down here with the 16 most used things, just there, and then the full alphabetical list on the side that I can jump to different. That's all I care about on my phone. I want to turn on my phone or put it in a cradle to charge and just have it be waifu singular icon. There's six. If you can't get it done with 16 apps, you're fucking it up. 16 like ready to go apps and then the entire list of the entire earth like I don't need the uh, Matrix audio remote app like anywhere. I hate this shit. Give me a wallpaper. I want a big clean wallpaper I don't need nine fucking things. Also, I don't know how to shut off 
this, which is like uh, the news thing from Google Home. I have to go into Google Home and disable that. But there you go. Let that wallpaper just shuffle. That has a 10 minute off time also. 53%. Oh, are we at, we're matching? Yeah, we're both at 53%. We're both at 53%. I'm just gonna let this sit here, not being interacted with. The screen will remain on and we'll see where we are in, in like by the end of this review. So have we discussed phone enough? The battery life is fucking eternal. The problems with it are very much its weight and size. You pick this up and it feels gargantuan. And I have pretty big hands. I know I've gotten used to a very skinny phone, like the slender phone, like I can't go back. I can't go back. It's so It fits so nicely in the hand. Even if I can't thumb up to the top, I, I'm so used to now just, just left-handing the thumb to get the things down, the, the, to bring this down and do things. It's, I'm, I'm, I love it. Bring it back to 16 by nine. I think it's 16 by nine. It might be a little bit wider. Um, I can almost reach the top. I can still reach the side, but it's so thick. Like, I don't know how to explain, like this in a case doesn't look much thicker. It's thicker. It's thicker. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention this. There's one other accessory the S98 Pro comes with. Only the Pro, not the not the rear screen one, the infrared camera one. And that issue that thing is this. So in case you want to really throw it around, you can pop it into another bumper case that just does the corners and lets the doogie logo, the doggy logo come out. And now it's super duper protected and thicker still and heavier still it's not a very heavy case but holy shit it's like 300 and something grams 330 grams where this is like 220 grams this is a solid 100 grams heavier without that case so if i pull this out of its little protective case it becomes like the lightest thinnest the most fragile feeling smooth little oh glass and fancy and it doesn't it falls out of your hand which by the way another thing i like is that the fact that the fingerprint reader is on the same basic area on the doogie as the sony there you can see thickness there like holy thick boy brah that's might as well take the hard audio case and just just there you go there's my phone there's my phone boss let me charge that let those wallpapers cycle let's put that back in its case because god knows this is an investment this phone so, as a phone, we're now done with phone. Let's talk about cool shit. Zio's timestamp to cool shit. Cool shit about this phone. Waterproof. Just straight up waterproof. As long as that cap's there, and you're not like filling it with water through the speaker hole, which you, it can get water in it and just pour it out. Um, that's pretty fucking amazing. I have to look up what IP68, IP69K, and MIL standard 810H and GR, but... I like, I, I just went straight up. I got sent these phones for free. Let me take them in the shower and see what happens. La, 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 nothing happened. I literally just shook them off. I didn't even have to dry them. They didn't even spot. So pretty impressed by that. Uh, the other thing that this camera does, before we get to the infrared, let's talk about night vision, which is also sort of infrared. So here's the camera app and you get like an ultra HD mode, which takes like a, I don't know, 40 megapixel. I didn't memorize all the specs, I apologize. 16 megapixels Samsung front camera and a 48 megapixel plus 20 megapixel AI double back camera. So if you take an Ultra HD and send it, it's like a 30 meg file. It's huge. It's not the clearest image. There's some grain going on, but with an Ultra HD, it's it's that I don't expect any more than that. If you take a normal portrait or photo or video, um, you have a zoom that is one to three. That's basically it. There's one there. Wait, no, wait, four, four, four. That's oh, a video. That's a video up to four. Uh, click that. It'll dim it down a little bit. Oh, it's trying so hard. So not the greatest regular camera in the world. Yeah, no, you could see the grain in that. It's like, oh, God, what the hell is happening? So don't digital zoom if you don't have to on this. That's th This thing's got like four lenses. There's a reason it was $1,400. It can do 
Oh, wait. This has a dedicated camera button. So whereas this has a dedicated, like, anything you want button, this has a dedicated camera button and a dedicated uh, Google Assistant button, which I think you could change, but you got to dig around real deep. So if I wanted to take pictures up there, here, with that, that's just straight optical, optical zoom. And then you could go digital beyond that and just get, like, 12 and a half X. And Sony's AI is going to be... Wow, look at that F5 key. Holy shit. Yeah, Sony's AI is... Jesus. That is... There's like a feather on it. Yeah, I, I gotta give it... I gotta give the, the photo quality to the $1,400 flagship Sony. But we're not here... If you're getting this phone and you just want to just take a picture, like, hey, you're selling shit on eBay, and I just need to take a picture of me giving the middle finger to someone, you go, boop. It's fine. You took the picture. It'll come out fine. It works good outside. But a lot of phones suffer at night. My Sony sucks at a nighttime. Oh, put the screen back on so I can watch the battery die. 52% um, here. 51% there. So we're already, it's already losing. Um, this has, in the photo options, a night vision mode, which you turn on, and it just looks like black and white. Do you remember when uh, you? So I'm gonna I'm gonna date myself on this this comment, but do any of you older folks remember when there was that camera that came out that could see through clothing, the one that was like the night vision from it might have been Sony I forget who the hell it was, but they sold like a handy cam that had a night vision mode and what that basically does it turns off the infrared sensor, in like the it, it, it turns off a part of a camera. Uh, assembly a CCD that usually stays on which basically means you lose all color like those shirts are gray and like there's fabric there's like purple things uh, I, I'm gonna have a real hard time demoing it down here because it's not it's never gonna be dark enough let's see what I can do if I do I hate doing this but <sighs> there we're, we're it's pretty fucking dark right now so now, the night vision camera, I'm gonna take the GoPro off my head so I can see what the hell it's showing you. Yeah, no, we are, we're in complete utter darkness. And with the infrareds in the front, we can see everything. In fact, wait, like there's a TV on over there. This is some uh, Jack Ryan stuff. So if we come over here, you see these, oh wow. So this one still has something on it, that's Faye. And these just look like white pieces of blank. Those have posters on them. So this can take complete darkness. Like, but middle of a cave in Afghanistan. Just pictures. And it looks way better than it does on the GoPro. Just pointing that out. We're just sort of like meandering through. But here, the dark staircase. Ain't dark now. And you can't see any light. It's not actually putting on like a flashlight. It's just infrared emitters and no IR. There's no IR filter on it. Does that fay come out? No, nope, that fay is white. All right, we gotta go flip on these switches and then hopefully my CASA switches all do a thing. We're actually at 11% GoPro battery. So yeah, she's there. Everything else goes away. So, that night vision camera is available on both the $300 S98 and the Pro. And you can take video or pictures with it. So it's like, good for you. Congratulations. We're taking a video. It's actually, I my original Motorola had um, black and white, a black and white sensor, which was designed to have higher detail then the color sensor, and then mix the two together with AI. That is what Motorola was doing with the Z2 Force. Um, I like, a, this is a true, one of these is a true black and white camera that has basically the cheat mode on for taking night pictures. So it'll be black and white. You have to accept that. But holy fuck, you're in darkness. If you if there's like, I was gonna say school shooting, but that's way too prevalent right now. We don't wanna deal with that fuck. But if you have to get escape from somewhere, let's just say you needed to stay in complete darkness and navigate the woods. Sold. Just for that, buy, a, buy one of these phones. 
You you could literally jump a fence in Area 51 and just hold this fucking thing to your face and see exactly what's in front of you and where you're going. Like, without emitting any... I mean, if there's snipers... Assuming it's Area 51 and there's snipers and they've got, you know, infrared sensing things which are very easy to get, you're probably going to get shot. But... Um, just having the camera, if you were able to cover the infrared emitters, you would just navigate basically with moonlight perfectly clear. And you know what? Your battery, 51% finally here. Where are we, where are we at here? 51. Oh, wow. We're actually competing because I had the infrared LEDs on. So step one, waterproof. Step two, brake proof, essentially. Like if you run this over the truck. Step three, night vision camera. Step four, the infrared camera. So I'm going to change the battery in the GoPro because I saw that it was dying. We got to change it to one of these hefty bad boys here. The new GoPro batteries are fucking massive. It's just like this phone. It's fucking massive. Let me stop this, change batteries, turn it back on, and then we're going to talk about the coolest fucking feature that's ever been on a portable device. And that's saying something. And before we continue, don't forget our sponsor for this video, Hard Audio, where you can get all your cable needs and some of the cable don't needs because like three and a half millimeter balance, like who the fuck needs that? But you could get one if you wanted to. And look at them, look, oh God, they're so nice. They're so nice. All right, Um, this phone came with this little instruction manual for the infrared, for the thermal imaging camera. It's a thermal imaging camera. Um, and it has, let me read you some specs for people who know, because it says it's a top of the line thermal imaging camera, and I fucking believe it. Because uh, the resolution of the actual thermal, here's, here's the cool shit. You ready for some cool shit that you can't even know about? So the image resolution of the thermal imaging camera is only 256 by 192, right? That sounds like shit. 256 by 192, that makes like 240p YouTube sound fucking great. But this is a phone. This doesn't have just the thermal imaging sensor. It has two other cameras in the back. And the actual infrin, inf, infi ray, inf I ray software can use either just the thermal camera, just a regular camera, or blend both of them together and you could do an alignment. So that's the way I have it now. That's why if I point this at this screen, you see dog girl. You can see her there because I have it set to do that. You can see details, you can read gauges and things because it's using both cameras, the infrared and one of the others. So when you take a picture or a video, you can make out Z-Reviews logo. It's not just blotches of color. For those of you who don't know what a thermal imaging camera is, it can take thermal images. Have you seen the movie Predator? Zeos, link to the movie Predator in the description. Which you can actually put it in that mode that looks exactly like that. I think it's called Jungle. I think that's Jungle. Yeah, you could change the color settings on this, by the way, to, to match whatever your heart desires. You can do white hot. I think like uh, A10 Warthogs when they're blombing the desert is black hot. So anything black now is a hot thing. So essentially what this is doing is it's taking a picture of the infrared spectrum that humans can't see. And you got everywhere from red hot, sepia, night. I liked night. Night's kind of cool. It's just green. By the way, don't turn this app sideways and take pictures with it because you take pictures and video because it doesn't know you're sideways and it always comes out as a horror, as a vertical video and you have to turn it in your app. So how do I how do I best I had iron bow on. Iron bow is my favorite because it's purple. And so what it does is it can look at materials and it varies based on the type of material and it could tell you if it's hot or not. And it's not like, oh, is that anime girl hot? No, no, no. Here, we're going to hold Shinobu's knee for a second and then let go. And you're going to literally be able to see where I, you want to see some, want to see some shit? There's my seat that my ass has been in. All right, do you see how glowy my thing is? And it's showing me that it's 82 degrees, 72 to 82. It's very sensitive. How sensitive? We just started standing here. And if I move my feet, well, there's a little bit there. But if I take, all right, here, you ready for some, you ready for some like, oh, Zeus is buying that shit? I'm taking my shoes off in my basement. And we're gonna, we're gonna have a little, we're gonna have a little backwards walk. And it's going to show my footprints from where I was standing like for a split second like look at that and they're still there i can still see the footprints 
So you want to talk about what ghost hunters use? This is the sort of shit that ghost hunters use. Um, everything you see, let me make sure, I'm going to take the camera off my head again. Everything you see here that is glowing bright orange is hot. So my feet are hot if I move again. You can see my toes. And if I move really quickly, I'm leaving, I'm leaving trails. This works great on carpet too for some reason. Uh, can you tell what units are on down here? What what is that? What oh, is that? All the Gashelli Dax are on. Yeah, all the Gashelli Dax are on. If we turn to this side, that's where I've been leaning on the desk and heating it up. We come to this rack. This rack is mostly off. Uh, the only unit that stays on 24 hours a day is that one, which is the Musician Pegasus R2R DAC, which is why it's so hot. In fact, what is it telling me it is? Um, it's 77 degrees. That's what that is. So, the cool aspect of this, I don't think I have to explain it to you. In fact, if you look at the screen here, you can see that the left side is hotter than the rest, because that's where it's actually got the emitters, either LED or CFL. CCFL. We turn around, we look at my chest freezer. You can see the chest freezer's got a warm side, because that's where it's expelling heat. We can go anywhere around my goddamn basement and you, this is for looking at problems really problems like really looking at problems now so can you find my hot water pipe can you see where the hot water pipe is i see where the hot water pipe is in fact you see two hot water pipes because one is insulated that's the actual hot water and then my kitchen sinks are over there and then i have a recirculator pump that takes the hot water and puts it into the cold water side which is here, making it hot, and I can see how far the hot water goes down. The amount of troubleshooting, like, I, I have videos in the garage of the cats. By the way, there's cats in my garage that I adopted for my family. So, there might be a cat in here at some point. I'm not making promises. They're slightly feral. But, the, just the ability, look how hot my shoes are. Like, if you take this out and point it into a field, <clears throat> I could see the horses 500 feet away. Like, this is not just something that, like, oh, that's cool, I can see my feet prints. This is another one of those, I'm in the woods that I need to navigate. Oh, wait, I hear something coming. Fucking turn yourself into predator. You literally become the predator. Is anything on on this desk here? Wait, I was walking around over here, and I'm like, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? It's so bright. It's so orange. Oh, is that the burning rig? Yeah. The burning rig is running, the, the task M, MH8. In fact, look, there's the hottest thing on the desk. That's the little Hibby R3 Pro that just sits there all day running. The, the amount of shit that you can just assess. Oh, uh, it does have a problem with silver things though. Like it'll show real cold or reflect heat off of glass and things. Like if I look at my refrigerator upstairs, which is stainless steel, it basically looks like a mirror and you can see your reflection in it. So here is the controller for the big light which is not on now but that thing is still retaining a lot of heat and i don't know if you can make it out on the gopro but there are little indicators here a little red red uh red text telling me exactly the temperature of the thing i'm pointing at or anything hot it'll follow it at 25 fps also and i could do it at any point i could just be like i want to take a picture of this picture saved so I'm putting this back in my head so I could actually speak because I know I sound weird when I don't have it on my head <sighs> the amount of usefulness of this doesn't isn't immediately apparent you're just, you're just like holy fuck look at my hand it's so cool oh my god take a picture of my dick totally did I had to delete it from the, from the phone in case uh <laughs> I brought up the the previous pictures like here wait where's my View the previous pictures. Here's some pizza. Here's my CRT upstairs. Here's my computer in the closet with a different setting on it. The computer is, you know, where it's blowing the air, the UPS, how hot that is. And back. I can't go. I can't scroll through. The receiver, my hand, the toilet paper, the footsteps. Oh, so this is a video. This is carpet. Okay, that's literally my footsteps on the carpet. Yeah, I tried to take it sideways. So look, if I just walk on carpet barefoot. All right, that's, I'm officially weirded out by 
That is so fucking weird, and it lasts for a while. Like the heat that you're, um, am I gonna get copyright? Like, look at that. That's, that's fucking nutty. If that isn't worth $500 just automatically, and the best part is, it's not like, there's been so many things where it's like, oh, I have a brand new DSLR or something. Take a picture, all oh, this came out great. Can't wait to share this. Open Wi-Fi app, try to connect to the camera. Please transfer over. Oh, I gotta pull the card out, but this is a phone. It has Wi-Fi. It has, it can have a SIM card. I could take an infrared picture of my, you can do this. Did you, you see this? This is my um bedroom. You can actually see the beams in the ceiling. Like here we can see the beams because it's a basement and it's just a cloth thing. You can see the beams in the ceiling through the fucking sheetrock. What do you have, a stud finder? Loser. And come the winter time, I'm gonna be able to say that, oh, there's the corner where the cold is coming in. And I know there's a corner because my friend brought it, my friend Dan brought his FLIR over. We found that corner, but he had to take it back. He didn't want to leave the FLIR here. So I'm gonna be able to go through my house with a fine tooth comb and see every leaky door, uninsulated wall. If I have a car problem, I'm gonna be like, hold on, let me whip out the car thing. All right, yeah, no, no, my brake is 400 degrees hotter on this than it is over there. There is a limit. There is a hard limit on this that it'll be like, I tried pointing it directly into my toaster oven and it literally brought up a like, like a no here. Here was the toaster oven, 229 degrees. It was just like, no. There's actually a setting in the app. Wait, here, let me go back from the playback. Here's a setting, it has to load, it has to load. It makes some, some weird um, sounds when you're running the app. It's shutter sounds because it keeps opening and closing the display the inside. It can't just leave it on all the time. You'll hear it go. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Um, if we go to settings, you can do a radiometric range, which is anywhere, which you can put on auto, which is what I have it, which can go from 14 degrees Fahrenheit. I have it set to Fahrenheit. You can set it to Celsius if you'd like. But I did 14 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like negative six Celsius, to 302 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like 150 degrees Celsius, and then from 122 Fahrenheit to 1,022 degrees Fahrenheit. A thousand, Echo, what's 1,022 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? 1,022 degrees Fahrenheit is 550 degrees Celsius. 550 degrees Celsius. And burn protection, you have an option to leave on, because you can actually damage the camera if you look at something too hot. They do not recommend looking at the sun. You look at things being shown on by the sun, you could be outside with it. Don't like point it at the sun, because even though the sun's millions of miles away, this is just detecting infrared light, and there's a lot of it out there. So be real careful. Burn protection will actually shut it off, and the, the shutter will close. But you could set the range to be up to 1,000 degrees. Then, so there's radiometric range, radiometric settings. You can do, there's different equivalent emissive C for common objects. You could do a custom mode. You could tell it the ambient temperature, object distance. And you could do all sorts of shit. I'm going to set the object distance to be further away at some point. Temperature unit. We could set it to Kelvin. You want to be a real boss? Let me be a real boss for a second. So how hot is my hand? 307 degrees Kelvin. Mom, I don't have a temperature. It's only 307.4 degrees Kelvin. I think we should switch to Kelvin because... You know, Poss is Canadian, I'm American. I want to say, you know, Fahrenheit, 68 sounds super comfortable. And to a Canadian, 68 sounds like you've died already. Um, but yeah, I think we all moved to Kelvin. It's great. If you don't know what Kelvin is, I'll give you a little science lesson. Kelvin is a temperature range that when you get to zero Kelvin, no atomic movement can occur. It's absolute zero. And we can't make that cold. We can't make anything that cold. We've tried. Like the depthiest depths of space isn't even zero degrees Kelvin, I don't think. There's still some heat from somewhere, somewhere. So Kelvin is basically the measurement of, doesn't matter up, it can go to 100, 500, it's to zero. How cold can you get? So yes, the other settings, uh, alarm settings, temperature units, image align utility, which lets you basically hold it up. It loads a thing and it shows you the two cameras because it's using two cameras. Give it a second, give it a second. There's nothing really over that's making heat. Here, what's, what's behind us, the lights there. Okay, so now if we want it, it's actually pretty spot on, but you would take this and just literally slide it over. We could rotate it. One hand on meter weight. 
Sometimes this works real easy and sometimes it's like it's a pain in the ass. But you basically can take this and adjust. Oh, hit the back slide. You can adjust it so that the images line up. And sometimes it sticks and sometimes it doesn't. So yeah, read all about it. Uh, you could apparently use it for this professional. There's different modes. There's this mode. There's you can put the flashlight on for some reason. I don't know why you do that. So there's that mode, which is professional mode. Then this mode, which is temperature mode, which just says low. And then it says the temperature in Kelvin. So it's a little bit. Is it faster in that mode? And there's personal mode. And then there's here. So here we go. So we got infrared. Here's just the infrared. I don't know if you could make this out, but there's no longer any image of the of the doggy girl. You can't read anything. Everything is just shapes. And I would actually probably do this if you were lost in the woods looking for people that are hunting you to, to kill you and eat your sp spine. Because you don't need the, the detail, you just need the shapes. So there's the shape, there's the hand, there's my hand print, because it was on there for like five seconds. It's fucking wild. So then, then you can go to RGB, which is, this is the camera, this is what it looks like when it's matching the camera's resolution. So it's kind of a, just a shit regular camera. And then you've got picture in picture, which lets you have the shit regular camera in case you don't know what you're pointing at and you're looking and like, what's glowing? That thing's glowing and it's glowing in black and white. You can reverse it and there's your black and white glowing box, which of course is the musician uh, Pegasus. And you could point at it and like, okay, there it is. That's what's doing it. You can reverse the picture in picture or you go to the full mix, which I prefer and the different settings here, the settings down here. Rainbow Aura Jungle Glory Hot. <laughs> glory Hot. That's another weird one. I feel like a lot of these settings, you just got to pick which one you like the best. Because Glory Hot's one. I liked Night. Night was good if you were outside looking at, like, animals. Because it's just whatever is glowing bright is probably a living thing. Because it's not going to be hot enough to turn it red. But if it's just brighter green, caution. And then there's Sepia which just looks like sepia and then red hot, which only has the hottest parts are red. So like, like even here, like there, now you can see that's red. I'm red. I think this is pretty much what the predator went through at the end of predator two. I was trying different modes out that center. Gashelli's Dak. Cause he just went off red because I moved my hand into the frame and it's averaging it out. And it's like, well, now that's not even hot enough to be important. So yeah, we'll put this way back over to iron bow. Because that doesn't seem to do that when I do this. It does a little bit. There's a little bit of an adjustment. It makes the hottest thing on screen the brightest thing on screen. Unless there's something even brighter. So, like, look at the, the, that that amp's been on all this time. Those two units. This is the clock, the reclocker. The XC1 reclocker versus the actual X1S GT headphone amp. And you touch them, and it's like, this is, like, cold to the touch. But I could tell it's not the same temperature as a desk or it wouldn't be this color. And this is like warm. Like, yeah, I could tell it's on, but not like hot. And it's like, it's such an intense color difference. And then we've got, wait, oh God, the GoPro battery is still like on fire. Uh, can I put this in this charger and actually get at the seat? There we go, because I plan on doing the boot cart review after this. So yeah, um... I don't think I have to sell you these phones anymore. What I'm selling you here with the SA98, let's turn up the, hit the power button. Buttons are really quality, by the way. Like, I know I'm... Uh, this is a rubber cover over the button, so I can't really judge. But you're never gonna put a, you're never gonna put a phone case on this. These are not a, a phone you get a case for. This thing that you put around this phone is, and it's a pain in the dick hole to get off. I should have pointed that out. This thing that you put around the phone is like if I plan on beating someone to death with it, I'll put that on there. Doesn't need to be on there. We've already got giant rubber bump, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Um, ooh, very same problem as my Sony. I complained that my Sony's fingerprint reader was here on the side over the actual physical power button. This has a separate power button but the fingerprint reader is below it. So I go to slide this in my pocket after turning off the screen. Here, screen off. Go to slide it in my pocket. Boom, fingerprint reader, it's on. So it's like, fuck, it's the same problem. I don't like back fingerprint readers because I, I, I've never had one. I don't know if I'd probably get used to it. I know some people have, have them and live by them. 
I don't mind the side one. My thumb is usually the one, or if it's on the table, I'll unlock it by doing this. I'll, I'll teach it a couple. Always teach a pinky to your touch controller so that if you're eating a fucking juicy hamburger, your pinky probably doesn't have shit in it. You can be like, oh, hold on, and unlock your phone with your pinky. Um, yeah, you know, you're buying this, you're buying the Pro because you want an infrared camera. It doesn't matter if you need a phone. I don't care if you fucking need a phone. You need an infrared fucking camera, a thermal imaging camera and an infrared night vision camera. And I want it for under $500. And I want it with a six inch screen. How big is the screen actually? Hold on. Doogie, tell me, tell me how big you are. I want it with a 6.3 inch LCD FHD water drop screen. For $500, you want a thermal imaging camera and a night vision camera? Yes. And I wanted to have a Sony IMX 350 20 megapixel night vision camera and a 6,000 milliamp hour large battery. Yeah, it has that. Um, 8 gigs of RAM, NFC support, side fingerprint recognition, Corning Gorilla Glass, Android 12. Can't go wrong. You can't go wrong for $460. If it was $1,100, I'd have a lot to complain about. $1,000, a real high-end fucking phone. Just a phone, just fucking with me it'll be like oh god it's so cool is it worth a thousand at five hundred dollars it's a joke of course you're gonna buy it of course you're gonna buy it because it's it's not just a full phone like if it was just a phone with a normal battery and a cool camera fine fine five hundred dollars and you gotta get we, we're at 47 percent with all the videos and the infrared camera shit we're taking um this is actually gone to sleep so i'm not gonna count this 49 this is actually winning now because it's, it's stayed off Plus, I'm not actively using it. Actively using it, Sony dies. Actively using it, this doesn't die. That's the difference. My Sony will sit on... The, if I don't use my Sony, the battery lasts quite a while. I want to use my fucking phone. And I could use this phone. I just got to get rid of all this shit on this screen. So, yeah, that's basically the... The long and short of it is... It's pretty fucking amazing for $500. It's a call to Doogie. So I don't know what chance you're gonna have of taking this to like a cell phone repair store if you ever somehow manage to damage something. I don't think you can, but I don't know how that, I mean, it's got screws and stuff that someone's gonna have to learn to take off. So you're, you're buying into, actually this is a solid piece of rubber. There's no way to take that off. I don't know. I don't know as, as far as longevity goes. You're buying it to be a rough, tough, cheap phone. As far as, you also will have the most amazingly strong wrists because it weighs so fucking much. Like pick it up and hit you with it and it will probably hurt you. Like bad, like hospital bad. Oh, wrinkly dog. And I am so proud of how good I got the screen to look with the mod I did because it was like noticeably blue. But you, you and try this with your own phone at home. Put on the blue, the um, the night screen. Where is it? That's in settings. That's under display. That's under night light. You click that, and then you have the the on timing, and then you have the cool to warm. And I have it like right there, like cool all the time, twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, cool. But removing the blue, and it's just. It's ridiculously better. If if Doogie could adjust every phone in the factory to come with this sort of color palette, people would be like astonished by it. The rounded edges are kind of weird. The front notch, like you could see the space it's wasting. If I go, yeah, let's go. Where's Z reviews? That's under family. That's definitely not where we are. Oh God. Actually, where is that picture of that? Look how fucking smooth this is. This is a hundred. This is what 144 hertz looks like. Perfect. Let's get some comparisons going. I definitely feel more more memed by my Sony phone. But yeah, no, like you could just see the stutter with that because it's a six-year-old screen, and that's just like beautiful. And they, oh, there we were to look at the top getting notched off. So if I go all the way, if I line up the, the white notches on the bottom, yeah, now you get a lot more real estate with Sony. But like the width is, the width of the screen itself isn't much more. But the actual phone, if I touch phone to phone, we're, I could actually see the screen past the other one. 
So yeah, you're getting you're getting a lot of foam for 500 bucks. And since it doesn't have a headphone jack, I get to recommend you Doggle Dax, which I happen to have a billion of, and I will be using these doogies for that. Because frankly, I'm tired of taking my phone out of the rotation and killing its battery. It owes a charge, and I got to do it. Someone's gonna message me. I'll just mute everything. I'll just shut, cl clear all apps, bunny girl wallpaper, plug in my dongle DAX as long as they fit through that hole. There is a hole down there. As long as they fit there, and I'll use this for the. Oh, oh, um, this is gonna bother you because it bothers me. It's not flat. It's actually rounded in the back. Like the sides are tucked in, but the rubber here is a slight dome and the camera assembly sticks out quite a bit. So even though this is going on top of an oon, which is not straight, it does it does one of these. And like like they both do it. They both have something sticking out and rounded. That is such a cool little feature. If that had waifus in the back, I'd, be, I'd never sell it. But yeah, you're gonna have a little bit of that and you have to be okay with that. Like you have a soft enough surface on your desk, you're not going to really notice it because it's going to stick down. But on a hard surface, you drop your phone and it doesn't, like the Sony lays flat. This will never lay flat. This will always have a little bit of a rock going for it. Also, you don't need the, the push pin thing to take the uh, SIM card out, which is, which one is this here? We could just do this with your, it comes with a tool. I was wondering what this plastic tool was for, and the plastic tool is to come in here and start this. I cut my fingernails, so it's probably going to be harder for me to do without it. I know I could do it, on my, it's the same thing on my Sony. Ugh. All right, I'm not gonna break a nail. I'm not breaking a nail. But yeah, you basically just pry that off and it comes out without the special tool. You just have to have like resilient fucking nails. There we go. I, I got it, I got it to start and then it's just, I pushed it back in. So it'll take two SIM cards too, which is nice if you're traveling internationally. Um. Oh, this sticker comes off the back, by the way. This is the IMEI numbers. There's two IMEI numbers and the serial number for the thing. And this is just a sticker that says 8 gigs RAM. Uh, this one has just the, the Pro, just has that. This one has the advertisement, basically, on it. As far as phones go, I don't review them. Eh, maybe for good reason. Maybe you watch this entire thing, you're like, oh, Zeus, you suck. Stick to audio. But I'm actually kind of excited because I wanted a thermal imaging camera. Like a, like a camera, like a full size, I'm like, Dan, can that FLIR take video? And he's like, no. But you can output it like low resolution through a, 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 a standard video cable to a record. I'm like, not doing that. No one's going to do that. I just fucking hit the button on this. Take a video. Here, let's do it right now. Wait for it to load. Wait for it to turn on the camera. It takes a second to heat up the whatever the element is inside. We'll hit, there's either photo or video. We're taking video with audio, by the way. This is for the review, everyone. You can put your hand down. You could be like, booyah, turkey. Actually, what would you do turkey? Probably had another thing here. There, turkey video. Everyone enjoyed turkey videos and dog girl. Video saved successfully. We go, we hit our automatic button because I want that to open Plus Messenger. We go to Twitch fam, which is in favorites. If you're not in Twitch fam, you have to watch me on Twitch. Click that. Click that. It's uploading 4.9 megs, 2 megs, 3 megs, 4 megs, 4.9 megs, 5.7 megs apparently. And there it is. We're taking video with audio, by the way. This is for the review, everyone. You can put your hand down. You can be like, clear that is. Oh yeah, turkey. Actually, what would you do turkey? Probably had another thing here. You could hear the click click of the clear. of the turkey video. Everyone enjoyed turkey videos and dog girl. We're taking. The fact that you could share like that, to that sort of speed, the fact that it's a phone is like the ultimate benefit. I'm gonna get a SIM card for this, for me. And I'm gonna have my like, okay, fancy, I'm taking it to a, going to a dinner party, <laughs> take out my expensive flagship phone, which isn't even a fucking flagship phone anymore. Thanks Sony for waiting like six months before coming out with an even better fucking phone, um, which I wouldn't buy because of the battery. But I'm gonna milk this one until it's dead because that's how we do it here on Z-Reviews. Milk it till it's dead. Um, so yeah, 49% on that. And then I'm going to take out this phone for just literally taking out 46% on this, doing all that work. It's going to be... It's 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 going to be so fucking nice. The infinite battery alone. The 6,000... The, the re I've always just said, if you're going to make a phone, just make a really chonky one that has like a million hours of battery. Here it is. 
fucking done. I would even take it, if you were gonna sell me an actual like dedicated battery phone that will have like an 8,000 milliampere, even bigger, like, oh my God, but then you throw it in your backpack and for a whole weekend you're good. This is nearly that. This is nearly that. If it's just an emergency phone and you're hiking, I didn't even turn it off. I went, I went to bed with this at 99% on my nightstand. Didn't plug it in, because I had just charged it. Went to sleep, slept eight hours, turned it on, it was at 99%. Not a fucking drop, kind of like a fucking field player. And it was connected to Wi-Fi, had location on, had Bluetooth on. All it was on, just didn't turn the screen on, and it just sat there. Like, permanent. Like, you could keep this on in your backpack and backpack for two weeks. And as long as you're not interacting with it, it's always there. Doing its thing. When I put a SIM card into it and it starts doing radio stuff, maybe it'll go down. But for now fucking amazing so yeah i wouldn't have said yes to doogie except they have some really cool shit and their name is kind of funny i was trying to look for a wallpaper by the way I had a girl with a phone I only had one and it was another uh marin from pokemon i just did a marin from pokemon i'm like no no, 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 no. she doesn't get two in a row so dog gee is what we're going with so yeah links to these thanks to doogie for sending them out i do have affiliate links for them so i will actually make a dollar or so if you uh buy them i hope so, I mean, I'm not lying to you about them. They're, they're a little bit slow. You gotta put the animation quality up, but once you adjust the screen and the audio's decent and the battery life is spectacular and the camera's cool as fuck, go for it. Um, I'll also link to my Sony. Only buy it if you hate yourself, but really, really wanna scroll beautifully. It's so good at scrolling, Jesus. Um, and thanks to Hard Audio Cables for sponsoring this video. Um, without them, I would have to actually buy real headphone cables, and I'd much rather just mix and match my 3.5s and my, my quarter inches and everything else. Uh, so links, links, links. Patreon subscribe star. They're the people I interact with most. They, they know about this phone forever. Twitch fam knows about it, and the patrons know about it. So if you join my Patreon and subscribe star, you get to see reviews early, like this one, a couple days. I have a June 6th release for this. Um, see reviews early. Participate in yard sales where you'll be able to buy the S98, not the Pro. I'm keeping the infrared one because that's too fucking useful. But the one with the cool back screen, if you want this, check out the yard sale. It's only a $300 phone, so bid appropriately. See us, I want to bid $291.18. Save $9. All you got to do is pay five. Um, see your views early. Participate in yard sales. Loss of sound demos in the Sound Demo Oasis, including all the missing sound demos. And then there's a $10 chat, which if you join for $10 on either one of those platforms, you get into there, and it's a private behind-the-scenes Telegram chat where I ask questions and do polls, and they know exactly what's here, when it's here, and why it's here. Um, so that's cool. They also get into a lifetime swap meet chat. So if you want to buy, sell, and trade gear, you can do that. Uh, once you're in the $10 chat, you get into the lifetime, never-removed swap meet channel. Uh, and then after that, it's just like, yep, yeah, just... just Merch, hi-fi guides, forums. Oh, I gotta make an announcement video after this. Um, we had the forums were broken for a while. If you were on the hi-fi guides forums, I'll make this announcement at the end of this, even though there's eight people watching. If you're watching at the end of this, type the put an eggplant emoji in the comments. Just in it, or just type whatever your normal comment was gonna be and just edit it with an eggplant at the beginning. Just to see who the fuck's here. Who the fuck is here at like 58 minutes in? We gotta be near an hour. But anyway, um, yes, yeah, eggplant, the forum had uh, an email problem where the email broke and it wouldn't send emails and nobody knew about it for like three weeks and it took us two weeks to get it and fix it because oh my god send grid security is like do a whole video on that so now the forums are back up and running perfectly smooth 100 percent. so i gotta make a video about that and yeah join the forums and the patreon subscribe star and merch z merch at zboombox.com and that's it I'm done. My my yearly phone review is done. Don't send me another phone, internet, unless it has something really fucking cool. Like, I don't even know what would be... What, what's cooler than a fucking thermal imaging camera? Like, oh, that's not, that doesn't have a waifu on it. Wait, we gotta do the double tap, and then we have the... Inf the fact that that's assignable, like, to any app you want, or to, like, flashlight or it, like, hold... You could just assign that. It, that's pretty fucking cool. Every phone... I would want multiple of those. Or more commands, like hold down two buttons and it does an app. But yeah, no, that's... We are... I have bad circulation. You could see it. 
I haven't taken a picture of my own face with this, by the way. I'm too freaked out. I would be too freaked out. It's like, no, 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 no. My soul. I don't want to capture my soul. Hey, did someone just touch my atriums? Yes, they did. How fucking cool is that? All right, screen off, me off, goodbye. Download wallpaper in the... There's going to be a code that if you're smart, you know how to make that an image or image. And then there's a link that gets you every wallpaper. Go do that. I'm fucking done. I've been Zeos Pantera. I don't want to do phones very often unless they're super cool. Hope you enjoyed this, though. Goodbye.